What's up, vlog? Uh, one of the most important things you can do in scooter sales is actually upsell with accessories. And uh, one of the questions we get the most often is how to add more storage to your scooter. They don't come with a whole lot, right? So Brad, what are some of the options we have for scooter storage? Well, if you buy a stock scooter, you're pretty much gonna get the storage underneath your seat, um, which there is a pretty good amount. Most of the time you can fit at least a helmet, bottle of oil, a lock pretty easily. If you're going beyond that, then you might need to get a little bit extra storage. I would suggest a top case, which is what we're gonna show you how to do today, how to install one of those. Um, we also have certain models. You can get saddlebags. I know our Genuine Venture, um, you can buy actual uh, bags that sit on the side of the seat. So not only can you get that rear storage seat, but you have the saddlebags plus your underneath storage. Um, so really depends on what your needs are, but um, if you do need more storage, investigate it because there are definitely options out there. That's right. So we sell we sell K-Max cases, Shad cases. We sell some cheaper options too. Today we're going to show you how to do a K-Max case on a Genuine Buddy scooter. Uh, most of them is going to be pretty straightforward in terms of the same kind of hardware, uh, same kind of tooling needed. But we're going to show you how to do that K-Max today. All right, Brad, so we're doing the top case install on the Genuine Buddy. What are the basic tools that you need for this? All right, so to install one of these, the, the tools I use, I obviously I'm using a drill gun, um, but it has my Phillips head screwdriver, and then I need a five on my Allen head, and then I have a 12 socket, which I'm gonna put on my gun as well, but I also have an attachment here with the regular socket wrench that if you have one of these, this is the basics, but don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to use. Uh, I mean, sometimes you can use power tools, and and if you're not used to using them, you don't know how much uh, how much force to put in on them. So don't be afraid to use your basic ones. This is a basic Phillips head screwdriver, a basic uh, Allen key. That way, you don't have to worry about stripping anything out if you're not used to working with them very often. Just a simple set of tools will do you well too. So for, for this specific model, obviously it doesn't have a back rack on it. Now I know that we do sell some scooters that do have back racks on it already. So. How much, how much different time, how much total time does it take to do an install here and how much extra time is it when you have to do a back rack also? Um, total time on an install right here, I mean, if you have a back rack, I want to say it's probably, you know, depending on your level of expertise, it's probably 10 minutes or less uh, at most. If you have to install a back rack, maybe another couple minutes just to remove this one and throw the next new one on. What do you mean by a back rack for all those options? Um, the back rack sits basically, the case is going to sit here, this is stock on the Genuine Buddy and it's just really more of a rear handle for a second rider, so this won't support an actual case, so we need something with a little bit more beef on it that's going to hold the case. So what we have here is a chrome back rack for the Genuine Buddy. They also come one, uh, have one that comes in black, and so as Brad was saying, this just basically sits on in the same existing place that the spoiler sits, except now it gives you that platform for the, the case to sit on, it gives you more of a of a base for it to sit and, and open up. So that's what that does right there. It is an add-on accessory, so if you do have a genuine buddy, you do have to purchase these separately. And that is true for some other scooters, some of the Vespas and Piaggios and stuff like that. Uh, but we also do sell a full range of scooters, uh, the Wolf RX-50, the Bentelli Sprint, the Wolf Islander, scooters like that, that come with a back rack just like this already installed. So for those, all you have to do is just purchase the case uh, you know, separately, and you don't have to purchase this extra back rack. So Brad, if, if, if I buy my scooter right now in the showroom, is this something I have to come in and make an appointment for, or can I just have this done, ready to go as soon as I get done with my paperwork? Yeah, most of the time we're actually done with the scooter by the time you're done with paperwork. Um, if you just come in off the, off the cuff and say, hey, I want to buy a scooter, it's probably about a 40 minute process at most. Um, if, if the, the showrooms, if you're next up, to fill out all your paperwork. And usually during that time, um, while they're doing the paperwork inside, we're out here prepping the scooter, getting gas in it, doing the test drive, and adding on things like this that you're wanting. So here's that for you. Thank you. Uh, so right now we have the big silver washer here at first, and there's a small crush washer underneath. Put the back rack on, and then put the hex bolt through. Uh, so actually, we'll do this part last because this we can torque down after all these are started because what happens is a lot of times if you do this one first, you find that your holes don't line up over here. So it's always best to start with those and then you can start uh, torquing this down once you get those hands started. So I'll give you your hardware back here. 
So this is loose, I can still fit all this in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rubber on the bottom to protect the paint. Get our rock in there. Then I'm gonna put the spacer right in between there. So Brad, on your hardware here, what size? I know, I know the hex key is a certain size uh, here, and your lock lock uh, nut is a certain size there. What what are they? Right. So when I went, when I removed the original rack, this is a 12 nut, and then uh, when you put this in, installed, this is actually a 13 um, hexagon tightening nut right here, and then your Allen keys over here are actually going to be a five. So you got that? You're going to impact those down right now. Correct. It doesn't take a whole lot of pressure. You don't have to sit here and hold it if you have a gun. Just a couple little clicks. Make sure it's in. See my wrench. Tighten that down. You don't have to over torque. Just make sure it's nice and secure. Beautiful. If you're the type that doesn't have uh, the restraint on an impact gun, then hand tools are definitely going to be your friend. We, right. we see that from time to time in shops. People like to go crazy with the impact. Uh, don't be afraid to use the hand tools. It's really all you need. Uh, but if you've got gentle touch on the on the hand uh, the power tools and you can use them, just be careful. So I got your top case for you here. And so what's the trick to this? Uh, they have a, a binder plate, right? They do. So inside your top case, you should have the uh, bottom plate, which is going to sit right on top of your rack here. And basically, we secure this straight to, or the we're securing the plate straight to the rack here, and then you can actually remove and it's easily uh, take on and off the actual case and then the rack just kind of fits you. So all of this, basically these are gonna sit underneath the, the chrome rack, and we're gonna stick a screw through with a lock nut to secure it, the plastic uh, platform to the chrome rack. I know I've done some installs on them, and, and you get this rack too close to where this bar comes up, and then once you go to get the case on there, the case doesn't want to open, right? So you gotta make sure that you kind of you know, some models are different, but you gotta make sure that uh, when you get this on there, maybe only start the, the hardware hand tight, that way you can throw the case on there, see if the lid opens up so you've got enough room there. So if you see on this back rack, there's a ton of different places to drop drop the screws in. Where that's really important is it depends on the kind of back rack you have, the kind of model you're installing this case on. So, you know, what, they make these cases that are pretty much a, a universal type thing, even though this one happens to be color matched. Uh, so you can use them on any kind of scooter that you want. So a lot of times what happens is you'll go to get one and install this, and you kind of have to do a little bit of guesswork to see exactly where you're supposed, supposed to put these bolts for this given rack, this given scooter. Uh, so it can kind of just have an effect that way. Uh, the good and bad of universal parts. <laughs> so basically right now I've put in the um, two washers on the rack and then two of the uh, rack grabbers. We'll call it a rack grabber. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the rack grabber. Basically something that looks like this. Underneath this, this piece is grabbing my chrome rack, and then the lock, screw, and washer are sitting right on top, so it's nice and secure. Um, it does have a Phillips head on the top, so you can take a Phillips head and like a 10 millimeter wrench and just hold it. It helps you tighten it really easily. Um, so I know depending on the scooter, sometimes you only need uh, you know, two, two bolts and nuts, sometimes three, sometimes four. Uh, what, is, what is your preference here, and how many are you gonna install? Um, well, I'll probably do four here, because I have two up front. I'll probably try and get two in the back, just to make sure it's really secure. Um, that's the way we like to do it. We don't want anything to be half secure. So the more the, bolt, the more hardware they give you, the better, because then you can make it you know, nice and secure. So Brad's got this uh, back rack installed on here, or like the, the plate here. It's important to make sure that when you torque it down, it doesn't uh, it doesn't twist and torque rotate any because you want that case to sit on there flush and square. A lot of times what happens is you get that final torque down and it wants to spin this back rack a little bit and then you go and put on the case and you're like, yeah, it kind of looks like, you know. 
he, he wants me to think he's actually working. Uh, no, but it kind of twists it and it makes it look like it's crooked. So you want to make sure that it stays nice and square on there. That way, whenever you put the case on there, uh, everything's good to go there. So now we got the case and show them how it's done, man. So basically on these uh, K-Max cases, as, as you turn the key, it'll turn to an unlocked position and you can push and that's going to pop it open. So that's how you open it. And then you see this red button. This is actually your uh, clip that's going to clip into the rack here. So as you push that, see the action happening behind it? So it'll slide right into here. I'll show them that underside again, because I think what you see here is uh, on the back side of this, you have uh, here on the platform a place where these just slide right in. So here it is, we got the case installed. Uh, you can see this opens up like that, nice and secure here. Uh, you have keys and then this red button is just a release so you can take it off. Uh, that way, you know, if you're parking overnight somewhere, you, you're worried about somebody breaking into it, you can actually just take your, your top case off, carry it inside your apartment or your, your house or wherever you live, and it just closes down like that. Now, Brad, one question that I get a lot is, is does the weight of the trunk actually interfere with any bit of the handling of the vehicle? So what do you say to that? Um, I would say it depends on the vehicle. Like on this one, it's pretty lightweight. I don't think it's going to throw too much off. If you're dealing with a much heavier bike, um, you might have to counterbalance some of that weight. So I know on a lot of our Piaggios and our Vespas, they actually send the grips weights with you. So if you do install one of these, you can have them install the weights on the handle grips as well, because that's supposed to counteract the weight on the back. So that's how you install a top case on a genuine buddy. We have a K-Max here. Also works on a Wolf RX50, a Bentelli Sprint, a Wolf Islander, several other models that we sell here, at new scooters for less. Um, and several other top cases will work just the same. It's a very similar process no matter which case you buy. So that's how you fix one of your storage options. And uh, we'll catch you next time, bro. Well.